What's up all you Flux Automators and today we are reviewing something new. So the lovely people over at Goovis have sent me the Goovis Art Personal Extended Viewer. Now they've had many products in their range but I gotta say this is their latest and greatest and they've sent it me for a review. Now this isn't a sponsored review but they're providing me with the device so I can give you a full review that is unfiltered and telling you the real deal so you have the option to buy the device or save your money. And um, this one, you're gonna wanna spend some money on. Trust me. Flux Automate. What's up all you Flux Automators? And today I have a, another product for review and we're gonna go deep with this one again, as usual. And I'm quite excited about this product. It's something that I'm gonna find so much use for and I'm sure a lot of you out there will find a use purpose for this. I'm guaranteed. If you're a geeker, you need one of these. So this is the Govis Art Personal Extended Viewer. So first things first, I need to break down exactly what this is. Now this is a wearable screen, a pair of personal binoculars into your digital world. Now what it's going to enable you to do is send any video signal output from any of the devices to this headset and you will be able to see a wide screen in front of you. Now you might be thinking, well, I could have a laptop screen or TV screen, or I could use any of the devices that I have that have screens on it. But what this is gonna enable you to do is use it in a multiple, multiple applications. So especially when things like the light might be an issue, you could use this. Especially when you need to be able to see what's around you, this is what you're gonna be able to use. Mm. Oh. <laughs> So Goovis labeled this as the world's first portable HD mounted display with a hanging design. So when it says hanging design, it sits over your head and the screen comes down in front of you and you have two viewfinders right in front of you. This is known as Panorama, not the TV program, but the ability to see everything that's around you, but still stay focused on something specific. In this case, your digital world. So the displays for each eye are 1080p 60 hertz OLED micro display and it's built with an ASPH optical engine which they say sets a benchmark for high quality. Now what I've seen from it so far I can agree to that. Hey, I have another review for you guys and this time it's a little bit different than what I've been doing in the recent months gone past because I've done a lot of home automation. So before we do the unboxing you might be thinking how am I going to use this? Now you could use this in many different ways as I've said already. So the package comes with one pair of glasses with numerous applications compatible with multimedia devices, handheld gaming, consoles, laptops, tablets, drones, DSLR cameras, D4 multimedia devices and it enables you to watch 3D movies. So before I get deeper with this what I'm going to do is show you what's in the packaging. So once I've tested the product I'll come back as usual and give you my pros and cons, conclusion, recommendations and marks out of 10. So you can make that decision if you should buy this product or if you should save your money. But my feeling is you're gonna wanna buy this product. So in addition to the headset itself, Goovis have also sent the Goovis HDMI Type-C adapter that goes along with it. So we can use that to attach to other devices. And also this Android TV box, which connects directly to it, which I think is great. So you can have this on the go and always have access to all your media. So let's get into the box really quickly and I'll show you what's in it. So first things first, let me take it out of this. It's a bit tough, this one. Ah, okay, so that was some tight packaging. And all you've got at the back is just some basic information. So here we have Goovis written along the top, which is really nice, nice black box and it's magnetized at the front so we can just flip it open like that we have a dust cloth which enables you to clean the screen without scratching it we have the device right here okay so here is the headset itself okay really nice and compact really small very lightweight in its construction and its feel it comes with some protectors um, so you don't scratch the lens so you can pull these off just like that Put it back on when you're not using it. Now it tilts from the top and we'll get into all of that a lot more later on down the line. Now you could wear this with or without glasses. So you have the ability to adjust the diopter for each eye, as you can see right here. And depending on how wide your eyes are apart, you can adjust it right here. And the great thing is once you find your 
ideal setting. You can use that locking button, locking mechanism, so it won't adjust when you put it in your bag. You also have volume because this has some built-in speakers. You have the brightness for your screen and we have a 2D and 3D button right here. So on one side, we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the other side, we have the USB type C. We have a nice soft headband right here, which is detachable. Okay, so if you need to replace it any time, at least you could just replace it, clean it, whatever you need to do. Adjustable head strap, okay, which is okay. I think the quality of this could have been a little bit better, but it's nice that it's black, so it's not gonna get dirty too easily. And uh, we have a LED light here, just to let us know when the device is on. We have a QR code here. I'm not gonna show you that. And on top, we have another peripheral plug. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm gonna test it and check it and let you guys know exactly what that is. And that is it for the headset. Quite nice, neat, and clean. Back into the box, and we have a USB-C to USB-C extension. So you can plug that into the device and into any of your other devices, such as your smartphone um, or any other uh, display that you want to output from to this headset. Lift up, because there's another surprise underneath it. <laughs> we get a full manual right here. So you get this pouch inside here, a carrying pouch, which is quite a decent size. So you can get a lot of other things in there. Also, you get some storage here. Um, you get a nice felt material in here, which makes sure it keeps your device nice and dust free and prevent it from getting scratched. And then you have another pocket here as well, uh, which you can store some other peripherals in. So before I go to a full in-depth testing, I'm just gonna show you how quick and easy it is to set up this device. I'm gonna be setting it up with this Steam Deck, which is one of the greatest devices that I have right now. And I love this thing. Um, we'll go into more in-depth for that another time. But here we have it. So we have the Steam Deck right here. Turn my Steam Deck on. Now you might think to yourself, why do we need to connect to a Steam Deck? Steam Deck already has a screen on it. But if you're traveling, if you're in a car, or you're doing something different, or you need to be aware of everything that's around you, you could still be playing while your head is up. No need for your head to be down and not concentrating on the rest of the world. So simple as this. So you have the Type C to the Type C right here. And on the back of your Steam Deck, you plug it in here. Now this could be done on a smartphone or a laptop or anything like that where you can display an output. And simple as just plugging it in, plugging it in on this side. Okay, we got it plugged in. And as you'll see, the light starts flashing as it's starting up. The Steam Deck screen has now gone blank because it's sending a signal to this device. So one of the great things about this is it has a sensor right here. So when you take your headset off, the screen will, will turn off. And then once you, it notices your eyes are back, or your head is back in here. And you just adjust it. And now I can see the game nice and clearly. You're not able to see this right now, but I will show you exactly how it works later on in the video. But it's as simple as that. Just plug in, it automatically turns on, and you are ready to go. And I could be playing just like this and be looking around. I can see everybody else. I can see what's going on in my environment and I can just go straight back to the game. So I could be relaxed as I'll show you a little bit later on in the car and I'm just playing, looking around. No need for me to have my head down. So that's what you get in the bag. Let's go do some testing and I'll come back and wrap it all up and let you know exactly what I feel about this device. Let's go. If you've been following me or this is just your first time and you're into these types of gadgets, please subscribe like and hit the notification bell because I will be bringing more videos like this to you guys to give you more in-depth knowledge and understanding of products that you're about to purchase. So in this first test, I'm just sat on the sofa as you can see and I've got the headset on and I'm all the way laid back so I can see the screen and feel 100% relaxed. So if you're just wondering what that is in the background, that is my dog, Scrappy. He just had an operation, so he's wearing his cone right now. Okay, so as you can see right now, I'm just going on a little walk and I've gone from the couch watching YouTube as a YouTube junkie to wearing it on the street. So I have my device connected to my smartphone and I'm able to play my YouTube, but also 
I get to the road as I am here. <laughs> I'm trying to get there. <laughs> so I can actually make sure I'm seeing everything around me. I could just look down and keep walking. Watch YouTube. Let's just adjust this a little bit. Easy as that. But uh, I won't say it's the best thing to do, walking around watching TV, but I can still look ahead of me. I can look down. And if I'm standing around, I could just be watching TV, YouTube, whatever I want, right in front of me and seeing everything around me. So currently, hands free, phones in the pocket, watching YouTube. And best thing about it is that if I want to, I can just flip it up like that and it's well out the way, looking a little bit like Ray Stance from uh, Ghostbusters. Cool stuff. So one of the things to point out about the device is the fact that out in the sunlight, when you might use a tablet or phone screen, sometimes you can't actually see it. But with this device, you can see it at all times. Just flip it and you can see the screen. Not much light going in. Right now, it's not that sunny, but I've tested it on a really sunny day and um, it does make a slight difference in terms of the quality that you're getting from the screen. And uh, you can enjoy your stuff outside. Relaxing. So another great reason to have this device is if you are a portable gamer. Now, as many portable gamers know, playing games outside is never the greatest experience because you get a lot of glare. Even if you have a screen protector that reduces the glare, you're still going to get the sun bouncing off and you're not going to be able to see the game as well. But with these, just plug them in. Put them down and you're ready to game. And there's absolutely no glare that I can see because my eyes are actually covering up any glare from any angles. So I can see everything that's going on on the screen and I can still look around and talk to everybody else. So um, I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so I wear glasses as well. Um, I always have to wear them all the time, but the benefits of having this device is you haven't got to switch out glasses. Um, a lot of the devices out there that have the glasses shape, you aren't actually able to put your own glasses on and your lenses on. So with these, you could just fold it and you can still wear your glasses, no problems. And you can just easily take your phone out, plug it in and away you go. So I'm looking at you through here right now. So I can get my 100% vision back while I'm watching the screens. So no need to adjust the lenses right here. Um, I could use my glasses and um, it's nice and comfortable. So another great use of this device is when you're in the car, if you're working on your laptop, sometimes having your head down low is not always good for your neck. Sometimes you want to relax a little bit or you have the ability to plug this straight in. No extra cables needed. Flip it down. Now I can see the exact same replication of that screen here and I can sit back, do some work rather than having to have my head down. As you know, if you've ever worked from the car, it gets a bit strenuous when your neck is down, but now you can sit back and work. Or if you're not working, you can watch some YouTube, some Flux Automate. So in this scene, I actually used the headset for a third monitor. So as you see right now, I've got my main screen, my laptop one, and then on the headset, I have all the, the toolbox for the application that I'm using. So it doesn't take up any real estate on my screen and I have the whole of the screen to use to my advantage. So I'm just outside doing some testing and this time I have the device connected to my DSLR camera. So usually you would use the back screen to enable you to view, find and see what you're doing. But sometimes you might need to go much lower to the ground. So I could just move it to wherever I want like this. No need for me to keep looking down at the viewfinder because now once this is here and down, I can see everything through the lens and I can just move and get my shot however I want. And now I won't need to use a viewfinder because I can just use these. It makes life so much easier. 
So I'm back in the studio after going out and doing all that testing for you guys. And as real geeks would do, I'm wearing the device. <laughs> oh boy, the kid in me is still alive. So now I'm going to go through the pros and cons and then I'll give you my conclusion and recommendation. So first, let's get on with the pros. So this device is so universal in its usage. So I wouldn't even call it a gadget. It's an actual tool because you could use it for play, but you also could use it for work as well. Now, maybe the color of this doesn't set out a professional type of look, but you can get the device in black as well. So if you want that to black out with all your other black gear, you know, you can still get it. The numerous amount of ways that you can use this tool is just great. So you could use it from watching films, watching YouTube, doing anything on your computer, on the web, to using your digital camera, to playing your consoles or handheld consoles. You could use it for games consoles in your living room. There's just so many ways that you could actually use it that I really like. And I think this is a device that I will be using for quite some time. Now the inbuilt screens that are in this device are really crispy and bright. I love that it has enough color and enough vibrance in there to make you feel like, you know, watching this over watching the TV. There's not gonna be that much difference unless you have a 8K television and you're watching Super HD or something like that. Then you might see a little bit of difference, but knowing that you have this in your bag and it is crystal clear and you can pull it out anytime and use it, especially in this form factor. So you could have more dedicated tools like the Oculus, for example, or the Apple headset, but they are much bulkier, a lot more expensive, a lot more components, and they keep you confined into your environment where these allow you to see everything around you and you can plug them into any device that you want. Whereas those other devices, you can't. Now the device is so compact and so lightweight that you can carry anywhere and you haven't got to think about, do I have the space or do I want to be adding the extra weight in my bag? It's easy just to pick up and put in your bag and keep it with you all the time. So whenever you might need to use it, you can just pull it out and use it. I know I've had other headsets such as the Oculus in the past and I've had to think to myself, is there space for it? Can I fit it in the bag? Do I want to be carrying the extra weight? But with this device, weight, or space is not going to be an issue. Now, when it comes to the 3D feature that it has on there, I haven't had to try it just as yet. I haven't had the time to be able to find any 3D films and download or stream from any of the providers online. So that's something I will check out a little bit later on in line, but it's great to know that it is 3D compatible. Now the device comes with some speakers in it as well, just in case you don't have a headset or you don't have any Bluetooth connected to your original device. They do function well. They're not really going to give you a lot of bass or clarity, but they are good enough to watch a film um, and listen to whatever you need to from your media. But with that said, the ability to use a 3.5 millimeter jack to connect any headphones is a thumbs up on that part. But the only thing I would say, maybe we need some Bluetooth in this. So like I said earlier on, the fact that these are so lightweight, you can actually wear them all day. You're not going to worry about having to have any neck issues or feeling the weight of this on your forehead or the back of your head. It's very, very comfortable. It doesn't weigh that much. So it's all a thumbs up. So along with the pros, we got to have the cons. And one con I would say is the brightness. It does display bright enough. I would like it if you could actually over push that to make it even brighter. You know, sometimes you might need a lot more light depending on the situation and the environment that you're in. I haven't come across any problems with the brightness at this point, but it would be nice if you could actually just push it up a little past what you're comfortable with, just to know that it has the power and has the juice there. Now, another thing that they could have added to this package, and it's not really a con, but the previous devices that they've had have had the ability to be more immersive, where you could have these sides that cover the whole of your peripheral vision. Now you don't get this with this device, you do get it on some of the other devices, but it would have been really good if they added this as part of the package. So then you could get the panorama and you could get the full immersion in the same kit. Now there's one thing I found with this device, which I thought was a little bit weird is that it doesn't have any actual settings. So when you're actually in the device, you can't change anything on screen. Everything has to be by the buttons. So there's no chance of having anything related to like Bluetooth or anything like that. It would have been great if they were able to squeeze in that Bluetooth into the device and enable you to connect via Bluetooth to other devices while powering the headset, but maybe next time. Which brings me to one of my other cons. 
This isn't a cheap device. Now, if you check it online, you'll see the current prices um, as this is just releasing. I'm not sure if they're doing any deals or anything like that, but if they do, I will make sure to add that in the description to enable you to get some type of discounts. As it stands right now, it's gonna be sold at full price. Um, I'm not gonna put the prices up here because it hasn't been released. Anything could change with that. So just check out through the link that I'll put in the description. So it will take you directly to the website. And as I said, if I do get any discount codes, I will make sure to add those in there too. Now, last but not least is the carry case. You do get a carry case with this device, but it would have been nice if they had a more compact and structured case. This one is only a fabric case and it would be nice if there was like a hard shell to protect your device. But other than that, you know, you can find something online to do that for you. So I guess again, to keep the price down, they decided to go with the bag version. Now those are the pros and cons when it comes to this device. I gotta say everything for me is great. Now the cons, they don't really detract from the real usability of the device. You can do everything that you need. It would just be a few little bits and pieces that they could add maybe in the next iteration. That'd be great for them to hopefully take my input from there. And with the pros, there's probably so many other pros I could have thrown in there, but you know, due to time, I didn't want to stretch this video out too long. So when it comes down to it at the final point, my recommendations. Now, is this a device that I think you guys should buy? Well, all depends. Now, I think if you have the spare money to buy a device like this and you're really going to use it, then yes, go ahead and buy it. Um, it is a bit pricey, but guaranteed you will find multiple different ways of using this device, which are very handy. I myself feel like I'm going to be using this all the time, not just when I'm at home, not just when I'm in the studio, when I'm out and about, when I'm traveling, when I'm on the couch and people are watching the TV and I don't want to watch that, I can easily put this on and still be connected with the people in the room. Right, let me give you my marks out of 10. Now on this one, I am going to give it a nine. Now the reason why I haven't given it a 10 is for a couple of reasons. One is the fact that the device that I have is white, maybe, you know, if I had a black one, I'd probably feel a little bit different because I like all my gear to be black or gray. So I think that did kind of creep into how I felt about the device a little bit. It looks a bit toyish with having the white, the red and the blue, kind of Nintendo-ish. But other than that, that's just the aesthetics. Now, the only other thing that kept me from giving it a 10 is the fact that it is quite expensive. Compared to what's out there in the market in terms of headsets, it does do something totally different to some of those other headsets out there. And it does have the quality, but for me, the price of this device is a little bit high. Is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it, but it just depends on really, do you have that extra money in your budget to go out and buy a device like this? But would I buy one? Yes, I definitely would. So before you go, make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell. And thank you for sitting through another in-depth review from myself on the Flux Ultimate channel. And I look forward to bringing you some more tech and tips in the next video. So for now, peace.